my name is Tom Homan. I'm Director of International Education. Very pleased to be uh, here at the College of St. Scholastic. I've been here about nine years. And uh, quite a few years ago, I was in Iraq. And about 38 years ago, I was studying Arabic in Lebanon. So all of this brought back some nice waves through my life today. Uh, I brought a couple of things to share with you about the two students that are coming our way, uh, Muhammad and Mustafa. It's, there are about six million Iraqi refugees, either <coughs> internally within, that is within Iraq, they had to leave their home areas for safety, or they are in Syria, predominantly, or Jordan, about two million in each of those two countries. A couple of years ago, some uh, national uh, groups got together with some nonprofit groups and said, uh, what can we do to help some of these young people who are sort of caught here in no man's land, having finished high school, but no real possibilities for going on to university. And uh, one way or another, they began to screen possible candidates to come to the United States. They screened uh, those that were some in Iraq, some in Syria, some in Jordan. And a couple months ago, I heard about this program because I have a sister who happens to be a Benedictine sister in Atchison, Kansas, at Mount St. Scholastica. And, uh, I got an email from her to tell me that she was working on an exciting project uh, with some Iraqi students. So I, of course, picked up the phone and said, what's happening? And she told me, and I got in touch with them. And Holy Cross College, uh, which is next to Notre Dame, a small college of about 500 in Indiana, it, uh, has taken on the role of helping to, to coordinate an effort along with the nonprofit uh, groups in Syria to uh, select students beginning in 2007. And uh, I'm very pleased to say that, that uh, I, I won a quick endorsement from the St. Scholastica to uh, invite two of them to come here on full scholarships. That leaves some other expenses that we have to cover, including their air tickets and their books and health insurance. Essentially what happens with most of the refugees who are both political and economic because of the war that's been raging in their homeland since 2003 is that uh, uh, many middle class families, poor families, rich families have had for safety reasons to leave whatever part of the rock they were from. Some had their homes destroyed, others were driven out for various ethnic reasons for the place where they and so we are, in a very small way, helping them to, uh, along with 18 other uh, colleges and universities, to begin to address the problem. It has been uh, uh, very difficult to get the U.S. government and, and many of the Western governments and the other Arab governments, uh, aside from Syria and Jordan, to pay as much attention as should be paid to those who are displaced by the war. So there will be uh, 21 uh, students, uh, not all coming to St. Scholastic. Two are coming to us, and the others are going to our, some of our partner schools, many of which are Catholic schools, but not all. And the two that are, that are uh, forming the little group and working with the students uh, not only help screen them academically and, and for appropriateness for participation in the program, the problem in Syria, for example, is they can finish high school, but once they've finished high school, they can't take a job uh, because they're considered in a special status by the Syrians, and they can't attend university in, in Syria. So they're just sort of caught. Uh, so Teresa and Gabe sent me this little note a couple of days ago. They're the two Americans that are working with this group. Uh, saying thanks for getting involved in the Iraqi Student Project and preparing a way for students to be with your community in just a few months. Last week we had 21 students together for three full days, our spring conference. 
The purpose is to cover many facets of what they will deal with in the U.S. and on campus in particular. We had a dozen excellent presentations, lots of activity and discussion, and we're moving on now to the visa applications, which is always a scary process. I tried to bring one Iraqi uh, here who had been working as a translator for Minnesota uh, National Guardsmen for three years in Iraq, and he couldn't get a visa to come here because at that time, the U.S. government was not allowing any Iraqi students to come here, which to me is incomprehensible, but nonetheless. So uh, what happened then is uh, these kids were all given you know, little things to do in the way that they probably would have since Scholastic or any other school. And uh, here was their challenge. They were supposed to write a little, a little bit about themselves when the word go was said and stop when the word stop was said. And uh, it had two parts. Part one is um, a little bit about yourself and what's coming up. And part two was uh, uh, pretend you're now 43 years old and you're looking back. So here's part one from Mustafa Tala. My whole name is Mustafa Tala Salim al Chalabi. Please call me Tofa. That's a brief. Yeah. I am dynamic, funny, and determined. I am 22. I was born on December 23rd, 1987. The important thing about me is my Iraqi and Islamic principles and values. The most important thing to me is to be successful in life and to adjust to a new life in America. Well, I am not allergic to anything, and I don't mind sitting with smokers. I am worried about meat, because I'm a Muslim and I do not eat pork. Therefore, I need to know how to recognize pork. <laughs> special session on this. I always stay up late and I wake up late. I love to have quietness when I read or study. I watch TV every day because I need to know what is going on in my country. For fun, I like to walk at night or play soccer. Playing soccer is my favorite hobby. I am a very quiet person and shy. I can be a chatterbox and communicative. I ask a lot, especially about English. I'm not a good cook, but I'm looking forward to learning, and I do exercise every morning. I may need some emotional support when I see a family, because I will straight away remember my family in Baghdad, and need emotional support also when I see a palm tree. The hardest thing for me might be winter, and I hope that I get along with all the people that I live with. There's part one. Sounds like a charming guy. Tofa. I'm now 43. I'm a little old and fat. <laughs> he didn't have to say that. Uh, I'm looking back at my life. I studied political science. I graduated from St. Scholastica in Duluth, Minnesota. I returned to Iraq in 2028, and I am working for TV as a political analyst. I decided to do my PhD in the UK. I decided to get married. I decided to donate $10,000 to poor kids in Iraq because I feel they're suffering and I'm looking at my own life. I could overcome barriers in my life when I was young. I could be college educated with a degree. I will never forget Teresa and Gabe who made me stand on my feet and I'm looking at my life. I hope I will be remembered after my death for what I have done for my country and for others. And the next is from Mohammed. Dear Thomas and the other group of support members, I should tell you we formed a little support group uh, to help do things like raise uh, uh, some money to help these kids out. And uh, I was delighted when Penny Schwartz uh, raised her hand and said, uh, gee, maybe we could do a little musical evening. And I had no idea it would come together so beautifully. So I'm thinking of what other countries I could do special recruiting for. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. I sort of thought about Cuba. I was just thinking Cuba. Uh, okay, uh, this is from Mom. I really don't know what to say. I am speechless right now. What you did for me and Mustafa is unbelievable. 
I mean, the formal team, and just to be there for us, it's larger than life. Thank you so much. I don't know exactly how to return this favor to you, but all I can promise you is that I'm going to work so hard through my years of studying so that you will all feel proud and never regret that you once helped and supported me. Thank you so much. I can't believe you're making a special concert. It's really cool, but it's so bad that I won't be able to attend it. Please, if you can, take photos and save them for me. I will be so thankful. I think we've had three photographers busy tonight. By the way, having a Rocky professor so, uh, uh, on the team is something really good for me and Mustafa. He can teach us what is the biggest fear that we may face as Iraqi students. <laughs> So there's your work cut out for us. I really can't wait to see you all and be able to thank you face to face. I should say that uh, on our little uh, Iraqi support group is uh, Jeremy Rupp from the Missions, who grew up in Kenya, uh, Sister Donna Schrader, member of the monastery, uh, Professor P.Z. Nielsen from our nursing department, uh, Elise Carter Rosen, Professor of Native American Languages, and Sabah Awan and Father Bill Graham uh, in religious studies, and myself. Uh, so with that, what we're going to do is, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight baskets. Those who are grabbing baskets can do, do that. And uh, help us out in any way that you can. If you would like to give by check, we can record it and it can be tax deductible.